Hey what's up Robert here with another Photoshop video tutorial from robertsproductions.net and in this tutorial I'm going to show you a little bit about the vanishing point feature in Photoshop. Now I'm using CS4 but this feature is also available in any previous version and what this allows us to do is see how we have this billboard and the photo was taken from the bottom um, left hand side so you can see that the billboards all slanted and and, uh, let, and you know to the side so let's say we wanted to add our own image to that billboard well I got my image here background provided by robertsproductions.net slash downloads you can download it from there and I'm gonna go to select all then edit copy come back to my billboard edit paste control or command T if you're on a Mac scale it down and here I have my photo that I want to put into the billboard but it's it doesn't it doesn't fit in what do, what do I do what do I, do I hit control T right click and select warp is, is that what I do huh it's it's not working oh no that's not what you do if you want to add your image into this billboard we're gonna use the Photoshop feature vanishing point so we're gonna make sure that we have the photo we want to put into our billboard selected and copied so like I did before select all edit copy to make sure that's copied onto our clipboard now we're gonna go we're gonna come back to this billboard and we're gonna hit filter vanishing point and then our create plane tool should already be selected and all we basically have to do is select the area that we want to have our logo or design in just like that now you can take more time doing this making make it nice and perfect but uh, I'll just leave it like that for now and we want to add our image into this billboard so I'm gonna hit control V okay nice 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 now I'm gonna hit T oh wait by the way control V is a uh, command V on the Mac and I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard or you can come over here and hit the transform tool and we can scale this down and then we just click and drag it and look at that look what it did look what it did oh my god look at that wow that was pretty easy that took less than a minute now I'm gonna click OK and I'm done now all the cars driving down this highway will be able to see this billboard and be like hmm video training I should go there you can even add some realistic looking light shadows or are they shadows light rays I guess you call them to make it even look more realistic and uh, we just hope that nobody shoots out these lights because then it'll be dark so um, that's about it that's that's the vanishing point tool in Photoshop now if you need to go call someone and tell them that hey you know how to use the vanishing point go ahead I'll wait are you back are you excited what they say Oh, okay. This portion of the video contains censored material in an effort to fully comply with YouTube's terms of service and community guidelines. Please do not flag this video. If you would like to watch the uncensored version of this video, please click the link in the sidebar. So, this can be used in many different areas, such as this office guy. What is he looking at? Oh, oh wow. Really? 
Two girls drinking one cup of coffee? Nice. Not really, but yeah. See? Card on the job. Two girls, one cup of coffee. By the way, if you have never heard of that, um, it's chocolate ice cream and uh, it com and uh, enjoy yourself. Uh, I recommend that you don't go there. Um, because you might blind yourself, which I have already done. I was blind until LASIK surgery. I got fake eyeballs. Yeah, but uh, it did blind me. So that's about it. Hope this tutorial helped. I'm Robert from Robert's Productions and until next time, take care.